Are you feeling primo-less? Feeling sad about it? Well, fear not, because I am here to tell you about many ways to earn primo gems. Now, some of these ways you may already know. Some you may have forgot. And maybe some you just didn't even know. Which might be unlikely, but let me know if you really didn't know any of these. To start off, the most consistent and obvious way is to do your daily commissions. You can get 60 primo gems every day, which may not sound like a lot, but it does pay off over time. Secondly, is world exploration. Exploring the world can earn you quite a lot, mostly getting chests from challenges and stuff, but there's more to it. You can get oculi and start upgrading your statues, which give you more primos and other rewards. Not only that, in some regions, you can use the tokens you get from chests to upgrade your trees. The rewards from them are quite nice, even if the rewards aren't in the form of primo gems, but regardless of that, they're still wishes. Speaking of trees, there's one in Dragonspine that you can also level up with crystals that you find throughout the area. Here's Sumeru's tree. You can get this one by doing the r and &R questline which moves us to doing quests. While you explore the world, you can come across plenty quests that can reward you primos as well. They might be the more boring way to earn primos depending on how you feel, but if you discipline yourself, it could be rewarding. More forms of quests are the hangout events. These can also be a bit boring, but by getting the endings of these also reward you with those beautiful primos. Let's move away from quests. The one way that will probably give you the most Primo Gems is doing the events. Please do these, do not forget about them, do not procrastinate, trust me. Get them done, even if they are boring, but there's a lot. Additional ways can be domains. Apart from artifact and material domains, these ones can give you 50 Primos once you clear them. Some of them can be challenging if you're not set up right, but I urge you to try them out if you haven't. Now earlier, I mentioned upgrading your statues and trees. Well, sometimes you can be rewarded with keys that unlock shrines. Once unlocked, you can open a chest right there and get 40 whopping primo gems. Hell yeah! Another way is achievements. The amount of gems you can get seems small, but take note that there are tons and tons of achievements. Oh, and don't forget to check on your adventurer's handbook. You might be forgetting to do that as well. Moving on, here's the one way that could have went over your head. Furnishing sets in the teapot. Even though getting these sets can be a hassle and take forever, the payout is nice. Once these sets are made, for each character that is unique to it, they will give you 20 gems. There are a lot of characters and also a lot of sets. Since we are talking about the teapot, you should probably start ranking it up. More primos there. With all that brings the end of the video. I guarantee you knew a lot of these already, but if this video was still of use to you, I'm glad. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you like my content and want to see more. Now, take care. And of course. How about you subscribe to Kira and come back for the next